Welcome to Series 2 of The Core with Nathan Fowkes, hosted by Bobby Chu. Nathan Fowkes has been one of the top concept artists in the entertainment industry for over 20 years. His credits include The Prince of Egypt, How to Train Your Dragon, and Wonder Park. In this mini-series, Nathan will get to the core of concepts and ideas that he teaches in his schoolism classes. We hope you enjoy it. Hey Nathan, thank you so much for your time. I want to ask you about contrast here. If contrast helps to control the eye, why do really great artists rarely ever use the entire value range available, going from complete black to white? Yeah, um, we we all understand a limited palette of color, but it's funny that we don't immediately jump to a limited palette of value, and let and and yet it's an equally valid and and useful idea and you're right master artists actually they limit their values and it's a reasonable question to ask the world is is filled with such beautiful complexity why would you limit yourself and the answer to that is because our images usually should not be about everything our images have to have a purpose and so if there's an image and it's not all about the contrast of light and shadow or the contrast of value, then you can have a very limited value range and make it all about, for instance, the contrast of color hue, warms and cools, reds and greens, your very limited value range. But then you have all these subtle and amazing ins and outs of contrasting color hue. And that can be a poetic, amazing looking thing. And if you have hyper value contrast at the same time, that actually becomes a distraction. And uh, the, the colors become less special in a case like that. So I'm thinking back, I learned so many, oh my gosh, back on the Prince of Egypt, the beginning of my career, uh, I was new in the learning curve and so many valuable lessons that came out of that. And one lesson was exactly what you're talking about. We had these vast landscapes of Egypt that were supposed to look like it's big, it goes back into the distance, it's a kingdom that goes on forever. And so one of the things that we did, and this wasn't my idea, as a matter of fact, it was uh, uh, Paul Assane laid this out for us, uh, who was our uh, scenic stylist on the show. And someone, uh, I, I was just, uh, I feel very lucky. Paul uh, is someone I've worked with off and on over the years. Uh, just before I talked to you, Bobby, I was on the phone with Paul Assane, of all people. So he's been a mentor over the years. And this is what he had us do. Two values, light, then dark, light, then dark. You know how clouds can cast shadows across a landscape, big clouds, and you have a patch of light, and then the, a cloud will cast a big shadow across the landscape, and then there'll be some light again. We did that in key shots that needed to feel like they went on forever. And so light, then dark, light, then dark, light, then dark. Then you get all the way to the horizon. Uh, at the horizon, are we done? No. Now we go into the sky, a patch of dark clouds, and then a patch of light clouds behind it light, dark, light, dark in the sky. And so it's this two value structure. And sure, in the far distance, there is less contrast. But the images were so readable. They were so understandable because there weren't all these crazy value contrasts everywhere. The audience has to look at these images. Sometimes these scenes are just up for a couple of seconds. Occasionally, these scenes are up for half of a second. The audience has to be able to take it in and understand it. And a simple, clear value structure will almost always do that for you. At the same time, this is Egypt. We have all of these buildings, all of these hieroglyphics, all of this stuff there. With that simple value structure, we can put as much detail as we want and as we need. And it will read because, again, that very simple, non-destructing value structure. And so one question that comes up all the time is about detail and, and, you know, am I putting in too much? Am I putting in not enough? And how do you limit your detail? 
I think students sometimes think I'm against detail because I so often talk about the simple statement. I'm not, not at all. Detail, I love it, it's important. And if you're so inclined, you can put all of the detail you want, hyper-realism, if you want, and there's a place for that. It can be interesting, as long as that detail does not disturb that simple value structure. To me, that's the answer. It more like supports it. Yes. Fantastic. So the challenge that we have for the viewers for this video, I would say, would be to actually limit your value range and try to create something with as much detail as you like. However, limiting the value range to see what you can do with that and how much you can push that. And of course, if you want to learn more, definitely check out Nathan Falk's class on Schoolism Environment Design with Nathan Falk's.